Hello, internet. Tis I, Damogen Mandeville. I've glamoured for this. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I have. Because I can. We are embarking, finally, on 6.25 content. It is 7.49pm on the patch day. I haven't done anything yet today that is current content. We're going to change that now. We're going to change that by talking to this excitable youth. The pungent Lalafell can scarcely conceal his excitement. Wait, I know you. We met in Kagani. You're that stone-cold killer I asked to look after the love of my life. It is the same, Lalafell. What's that mutt look for? Surely you haven't forgotten me. You and me, we had a moment. A connection. Not like the one I've got with her, of course. But I know I left an impression. The creepy little bastard who smells like cheese and followed Nashu to Kagana after stalking her for over five years. <laughs> Frankly, considering how many blows to the head I've taken, I'm lucky I haven't forgot my own name. Hey, there's nothing creepy about my love. It's as pure as the pristine waters of a forest stream. Don't play on about the cheese stink, though. That's enough about me. This is about Miss Nashu. Ever since she got sucked into that weird portal back east, I've been scouring the world for any sight of her. I was this close to giving up. But then, huzzah! I found her here in Mazatlan. Normally, I'd be happy to get back to playing the silent, invisible guardian, but she seems pretty distressed by the plight of her inspector friend. He's here too. I laid up and shown no signs of waking anytime soon. My Nashu has been fashioning all sorts of medicines in hopes of rousing him. But to no avail. I mean, I couldn't care less if he kicked the butt bucket, but I hate seeing her like this. She's liable to work herself to death. So what say you? Will you deliver my dearest Nashu from a plight? You'll find her over at the High Crucible, no doubt slaving over in Alembic. And with that, I'll get back to cheering her on from the shadows. You too, I guess. Now go quickly, save my beloved. Yes. Yes. So what has happened, Nashu Makaraka? Maka, 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 maka. And that should do it. I had to take this medicine and... Cool! Demogen! Feels like it's been forever. Oh, definitely less than a year, I'm sure. What brings you to Vazatan? Enjoying a spot of adventuring, or perhaps... I'm going to a Hildebrand cosplay convention. And you've heard. It's true. Inspector Hildebrand's gone into hibernation again and... Oh, wait, you're giving me that look. The one that screams, what about the whole weird portal business? All right, since so she silently asked. So back on the BBC, remember how Greg got down with you prison and was forced to whisk us all far away? Yes. I've just watched it. And that strange rift that opened up, which the inspector then got sucked up into, and how I followed him after him. Whee! Well, after that, we all ended up in this bizarre place. Couldn't tell up from down, left from right, so we wandered lost and confused. Fortunately, Greg came to his senses and explained that we were in the interspectorial inter rift, and then used the same trick to bring us home. Greg himself stayed behind, though. Something about a score that he had to settle. Not sure what that was about, but hey, you know Greg. Anyway, we're back now, but the rub is that Inspector Hildebrand hasn't opened his eyes once. I know he knows his beauty sleep, but it's been an awfully long time and we've got cases to solve. I've been trying my hand at apothecary stuff, seeing if I can't make something that'll get him up and moving, but nothing seems to work. But I think we're making progress. Me and Mr. Chupacabra from the Shakshuka concern, that is. You remember Mr. Chupacabra, right? Got sucked into the rift along with us, Four mover mastermind. Not so bad once you get to know him. No? Was that his actual name? Please, uh, uh, Jubraka. Please, I am to meet you once more, and under less compromising circumstances. If I make a if I make correct our mutual friend, I am Jubraka, chairman of the Sahatra Concern. Your distrustful and somewhat bloodthirsty glare is not unwarranted, but in my defence, who among us has not contemplated enslaving the rich and powerful to bend the world to their whim? <laughs> um. I pray you forgive me my poor joke and allow me to assure you that after wandering the interdimensional rift for the sisters only know how long, I am a changed man. Naturally, I understand that words alone would not suffice to absolve me of my sins. Thus, since my return, I have operated a humble apothecary. 
that caters to the needs of one and all. Furthermore, I made arrangements for Miss Nashu's workshop. This assured that I will spare no effort in helping to her see Inspector Hildebrand awakened and return to full health. And with that, if you'd excuse me, I must see to other business. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't it the nicest ex villain you've ever met? Oh, but that's right, I just finished my last medicine. I've got high hopes for this new recipe. I suppose I ought to get a look at the Mandeville man himself. By all means, the inspector's resting in a room up in Karma. Wake or asleep, I'm sure he'd enjoy your company. Let's go. Okay. And here's the man himself. Oops, I have trodden on him. That's unfortunate. Well, he looks fine. I suspect he's got the same issue that um, our lot had when they were on their first, on the first. His body stayed here, but his soul is still wondering. In this room, nice. Master Chupacabra's taking care of everything. Even paid the rent in full. How about I'm distracting you, aren't I? You need to concentrate while you examine the inspector, yes? Study the sleeping Inspector Hildebrand. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target a section. I don't know whether I want to target a section of Hildebrand. Ma 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 yeah. Hildebrand's leg. The exquisite buckles of the stylish footwear are designed unique to House Mandeville. These shoes would almost certainly fetch a small fortune in the markets. Rippling muscles speak impressive strength, while smooth skin suggests that only on the rarest of occasions does the man resort to violence. <laughs> Trippingly, his limbs are stiff and cold to the touch, as if the blood runs cold in his veins. Rugged features below what is, at closer glance, the sensitive mien of a cultured gentleman. Whilst he still breathes, he appears to be locked in a deep slumber. Hmm. Well, at least he's not frozen in time. The inspector's condition is disturbingly reminiscent of the Scions, who were summoned to the first for a time. Yes, because we know he was there, because we saw him in the gauntlet. Oh, finished already? No theories as to what's wrong with the inspector? I suspect he may have been summoned to another reflection. I see. I mean, I don't, but that's what you're supposed to say at times like this. I know that much. How do we wake him up? I don't know. <laughs> Return his soul to his body. Where'd it go? And what's it doing there? I think it's gone to another world wholly unlike ours, but still slightly like ours. A world of contrasts. Probably went to the first to become the Gentleman of Darkness, as you do. I see! Right! So, can you go there? Great! In that case, I'll leave the soul searching to you. I'm sure it goes without saying, but once you've arrived in this otherworldly place... Look for, no, otherworldly world... Look for a place that smells of mystery and intrigue and chat with people there. That's standard agent of inquiry protocol. Oh, and since this is Inspector Wilderman we're talking about, don't be surprised if you find him asleep or haven't forgotten a thing or two. And not to worry, I've prepared my traditional medicine, just in case. Don't hesitate to use it. With that, do take care out there. Received bombs. Yes, in fact. Nashu's Delight, a potent explosive whipped up by Nashu with the power to jog one's memories. We are going to the first. Because of course we are. Speak with a Glynard at the Crystarium. Glynard, how are you, mate? Been a while. 
Welcome back, friend. Love your pipe, but my barman sense tells me that's not why you're here. No, indeed. So this friend of yours has gone missing. Sorry to hear that, but plenty of travellers pass through these parts. Could you describe the fellow to me? Well, he's wearing roughly the same outfit as me. Hume, Burley, where's a monocle? Well-meaning idiots. Hmm, yeah, that sounds familiar. Mind you, I didn't see him myself, but I do believe one of our bounty hunters spied such a man when you were all battling that horde of spectral warriors. Yes, he was in the cutscene for that as well, wasn't he? Glot! Gear, rather. Glot. Gear, come here a moment. There's someone who wants to speak with you. I'm not doing the loud, lalaful voice. That's so. Make it quick. Is your alien going to drink itself? Here we go, Demogen. That brings you back to our neck of the woods. Dally ho. Ah, you mentioned it. I did see someone like that. Back there on the battlefield after he ran off to do more hero work. At first, I thought he was going to attack me like the rest of the spirit what's it. But no, he just stood there striking a pose, trying to scare or seduce me. Damned if I could tell. Still, he was glowing. I wasn't about to take any chances, so I said, Hey, piss off, ghost. Sent him, flack sent him packing. Did he die, you ask? To which I say, Why am I a co-urgeon? Also, I kept my mug waiting. Also, yeah. Also, I've kept my mug waiting long enough. Good talk. <laughs> Bye, gear. Could it be the warrior of darkness? Hello. Hi, peoples. Do I know you, peoples? I thought that was your voice, but was convinced my ears were playing tricks on me. It's good to see you again. Didn't mean to eavesdrop, but we overheard you discussing the renegade poser. We've been searching for him for some time now. There have been sightings in Lakeland, you see. Volo and I have been tasked with getting to the bottom of it. With little in the way of useful information, though. All we know is that he appears without warning and strikes a disturbing pose. He's not caused any harm, if you discount the shock of a strange man gesticulating in your general direction, that is. Nevertheless, we worried his behaviour might escalate. Have you been tasked with apprehending the miscreants as well? In a manner of speaking? Not quite, Bernard. Glenn has come back to track down a missing friend. Your miscreant, I regret to say, might be my friend. <laughs> yeah. If the man you're looking for might be one and the same, then why not work together? Between the three of you, you're bound to have better luck. It would be an honour and a great help. We were just about to leave to gather testimony as it happens. Come and join us in Sullen when you're finished here. We'll solve this mystery in no time. Somehow, I doubt it. While I'm here... Guys! What? With our methods, we can barely maintain a fake connection to the 13th, but you say you've journeyed there? Incredible. Such drive arc on a must have to uncover the secrets of cross rift travel. And to conceive of creating artificial atomus could only be described as inspired. Suffice it to say, I'd like nothing more than to join you on your future forays, but I will abide in patience for now. You already have a capable guide at your disposal, and my presence would be extraneous. Besides, there are certain tasks that require me to be here in the first. For one, I wish to learn more about the approach used to relive the, revive the empty. It's my hope that the self-same can be applied in the 13th. And to that end, I've arranged to meet with those involved. Dyer and Reen. At loose ends, are you? You're welcome to loiter about here, if you intend to spend some coin while you're at it. Not that I'm not grateful for the business you've brought in mind. The hunters are here even more now, even more often now that they're working together, and their accounts never go and settle for long. They're a pain in the arse to serve, of course. Maybe I'll drop your name next time I need them to behave. Still, it's nice to feel like something grand is in motion again. Perhaps Ardbert rubbed off on me more than I anticipated. I went to the 13th. What? Not only did you travel to the 13th, you encountered a memoriat besides. Wicked white, that's nothing short of a miracle. I used to be a memoriat myself, but I lost my powers when the Assins plucked me out of the void. It's astounding to think that this Zero managed to survive with hers all this time. 
As she claims to have no desire to save our world as a compatriot, I should still be keen to meet her. There's only so much of us left, after all. Those who haven't completely lost ourselves. Also, I know full well that you and yours have your own objective in the 13th, but should you discover aught that might lead to its restoration, I'd thank you to share it with me. Yes. Yes, indeed. Travel to Sullen. Travelling to Sullen is quite a way. Yes, I, I'd been it, I'd been informed that Anukali and um, Scylla had uh, Scylla Silver had uh, new dialogue after we'd been to the thirteenth, and I'd been meaning to check it out, but of course I'd forgotten until we were actually here. Like literally, I saw them in the background. I thought, ah, so bonus content for you all there. Sullen Elder. Ah, it's time for me to crack out the old person voice. Oh, that fellow. I, I saw him the other day on the way home from Clearmelt. I enjoyed one too many libations after my bath and ended up wandering off into the forest. Before I knew it, the sun was dipping low and the sky turning dark, and I was beginning to wonder if I'd ever make it home. And I felt a gentle tug at my arm. And would you believe it? This odd-looking man led me out of the forest and set me back on the road. I thanked him profusely, but he said nothing in reply. I struck this pose and walked off. Aren't you so glad that they keep putting old people in Final Fantasy Quest just so that you can hear my amazing... No. No. Did I see him? You bet I did. I was crossing through the forest of Lost Shepherd on my way to deliver fish to the Hostel Imperative. I don't know where this odd man leapt in front of me. I thought he was abandoned at first, but then he abruptly turned to the side, curled his neck, and put his fist to his head as if to say... I don't know. He was baffling. I ran when I realised he wasn't going to do anything else. Inspector Hildebrand has been trapped between worlds. Why yes, I saw someone like that when I was out picking mushrooms in the forest. He even spoke to me. I was repulsed at first by his form. But he only wanted to warn me that fell beasts lurk in the forest and that I should be wary. Contrary to appearances, I'd say he was actually quite gentlemanly. I can't wink. I look like an idiot doing that. Cut that, editing damager. You watch, editing damager will leave that in for spite. Finished questioning the locals, have you? Were you able to learn anything? Why, yes. Not only has the poser caused no harm, he's even helped people. So he's a gentleman, albeit a suspicious one. Something of a contradiction, you might say, but there's no doubt, no reason to doubt what we heard. Everyone seems to encounter him in the forest of the Lost Shepherd, right? And that's where we shall look next. Shall we? Yes. That's a nice coat. I do love the colours. Well, here we are. But how exactly are we supposed to begin our search? These woods are... Well, woods. Leave it to me. Demogen, Inspector Extraordinaire. Got a plan, do you? Far a bit for me to doubt the Warrior Darkness. Show us what you got in mind and we'll back... And we'll back you up to the best of our ability. I'm going to dance, aren't I? I like the fact that we're given the choice. <laughs> the fact that I have chosen to do this in the outfits should give this extra power. Oh, no. <laughs> What have I done? I've created a monster. Hark! What familiar gentlemanly gyrations are these?
Why is he so big? Oh no, he's up on a tree. Oh, oh. Hildebrand? What? It's an amalgam. What have you done? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Um. <sighs> Why do you have the face paint on, Hildebrand? <laughs> oh, no. On your guard, it's a Sin Eater. No. <laughs> no, it's not. No, wait, that's no Sin Eater. It's the Gentleman of Lights. Gentleman of Light? Who is this gentleman of light of whom you speak? I am the forgiven gentleman, devourer of sins, light warden extraordinaire. Oh dear. You might occasionally moonlight as a zombie overlord, but trust me, you're a gentleman inspector. <laughs> inspector. Sin Eater! Inspector! Sin Eater! You're acquainted with this, uh, gentleman? Yes. Yes, I am. Why right then? Clearly your friend's been through a lot, but still. How did you get in his head he's a Sin Eater? Is there no way to bring back his memories? Uh, yes. We have some bombs that should do the trick. Hildebrand, stand still. <laughs> Explosives? We're trying to save him, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God. Why are we playing volleyball? Oh god. <laughs> well, that should have done the trick. Excellent. <laughs> Jobs are good. Then. Wicked White, we've killed him. That's the long voice. Calm down, he's fine. Let's just go pull him out of the ground. Fabulous. I say, Demogen, I'd resign myself to Nashu's ungentle methodology, but you too, my brutish friend. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Watch them just turn around and walk away. But never mind that. I do not recall the world being quite so purple. Previously, I was with Nashu and Greg. Wandering the bizarre shadowy realm known as the Interspectorial Rift. Clo oh. Oh no. Wait, what? Did they have the echo as well? 
I suppose they do. Here he is. Huh, where am I? Who am I? Get. What? That sickening light, that aggressive posturing. I know what you are. You're one of them, ain't you? What you need is a good old-fashioned dwarven decking. Piss off, ghost. <laughs> Giant pun. Nod. <laughs> he turns and walks away. Except that this is Hildebrand. And Hildebrand does not die so easily. Or at all. Later. Those are some nice cracks. Ah, that's a Sin Eater. You think it's a perch? Planking? This is in here. A sin eater. <sighs> oh dear. <laughs> well, that's pretty. Lagland looks really nice in the uh, the vein. I'll be damned. I saw a vision of the man's past. No wonder he became convinced he was a Sin Eater. I saw it too. It was quite possibly the most ridiculous memory I've ever glimpsed. <laughs> Answer me, my faithful assistant. Where are we and why is it so purple? The first? The first what? You're telling me we somehow travelled to an entirely different world? Good gods! To think that I have transcended the very boundaries of time and space! But worry not, my adoring fans! Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, will return to you forthwith. First I must dance. Slash pose. You just have to humor him. Question is, how are we going to get him back? The sleeping gentleman. Hildebrand is back and full of spectral beans. 
While I've enjoyed what time I've spent in this far-flung first that I can remember, we should be getting back to our own world soon. Would you happen to know how we might go about doing that? Restore my soul with a spirit vessel. Say no more. Your cursory description was more than enough for me to grasp the concept completely. It is not unlike brewing the perfect cup of coffee, which means our task is clear. We require the services of a skilled soul sommelier. I know a soul sommelier called the Beck Lug. Splendid! I see that even in this world you rub shoulders with the cream. Let us pay this Beck Lug a visit. I'm not sure what you're plotting to do with souls, but if you require Becklug's assistance, we can help. Oi, they've aided us time and again, and I reckon they do the same for your friend here. Come with us to the Cabinet of Curiosity. Fabulous. Speak with Thela in the Crystarium. I, I think that that Hildebrand entrance was the best one yet. Just using the, the, the kind of title thing. Um, where am I going? I'm going to the Cabinet of Curiosity, aren't I? And I always choose the wrong floor for that. So let's actually use the Ethernet shard. There we are. See? Using my noggin. Which is more than we can say for Hildebrand. If you're ready, I'll call for Beck Lug. I am ready. What voice did Beck Lug have? Oh, Marwin's here as well. Ah, the genius soul sommelier. You have come highly recommended by Demogen. What an adorable little pup. Oh, dear Lord. Because we know how they react to the dog thing. Soul what? Puppy? I beg your pardon, but there seems to be some confusion. Puppy? <laughs> Who is this imbecile, Demogen? I have mine to make him dig a hole so I can throw him in it. <laughs> I presume he's a friend of yours, and one in need, no less. Yes, he is a bit of an idiot, but... What? Another of your friends that needs to be sent back to the source? Have you forgotten how complex and difficult it was to do it the last time? Yet you waltz in here and ask me this favour with the air of one shopping for a new hat. His case is no different from the others, at least. He is present only in soul, as they were. We'll need another spirit vessel, of course. You don't happen to have one on you already, do you? Mm. Not so much. We do! Of course we do. We've still got the Exarchs one. Entrusted to you by the Crystal Exarch, you say? <laughs> if only knew how you were using it. <laughs> Fortunately, I have a Porxy on hand. We've been using it to treat patients at risk of transforming into eaters, but I suppose it's due for a change of pace. There is, however, one concern. In case I didn't make it clear before, the process can place great strain upon one's soul. If he's lacking in resilience, oh, that's not an issue, is it? There is a chance this will, his will not survive. And his very essence will be rent asunder. After what he's lived through, it would be implausibly anticlimactic for him to die like that. Aha! Demogen knows me all too well. I assure you, my dear sommelier, who is most certainly not a dog, you needn't worry for Hildebrand, Heliodor, Maximilian, Mandeville. Yes, I get the distinct impression that the gods themselves could not kill him if they tried. And they have. <laughs> Come along then, Hildy. I can't be bothered to remember that name. A thousand thanks. Simply point me to the soul siphon and I shall hop right in. Well, the rest of you could wait here. I promise I won't hurt him. No matter how much I might be tempted. Well, at least this was worth the... Ha it's been four plus years, hasn't it, between the Stormblood stuff and this? 
You will be pleased to know that the process was smooth and eventful. Honestly, I was hoping for more of a challenge. All you need to do is take his spirit vessel back to the source and bring it in contact with his corporeal body. It should awaken immediately with his soul and memories intact. Thank you, Becklug. You are a marvel. If there's nothing else, Von and I shall be getting back to our duties. It was a pleasure, Demogen, if all too brief. I won't pretend I understood even a fraction of what happened, but I'm glad I was there for it. Do we meet again? Rest assured that Thayer and I will be doing our damnedest to look after the people here in your absence. Thank you, Becklug. And Moran, although you did little more than stand there. One for the history books, I guess. I suppose Bomb was chronicling things, so... Deliver the gentlemanly spirit vessel to Nashu and Rads at Han. Nashu Macarena. You're back, and not a moment too soon. We have an emergency on our hands. Oh no, somebody has stolen Hildebrand's body. A brightly glowing spirit vessel that currently houses the resolute spirit of Inspector Hildebrand. Inspector's soul is in this, you say? That's great, but we have another problem now. The inspector's body's gone missing. Went to the market to do some shopping, and when we came back, he was nowhere to be seen. I double-checked that every door was locked before we left, but there's nothing to suggest someone forced their way in. We got a case on our hands. The case of the evaporating inspector. We must begin our investigation at once. Come on, let's start looking for witnesses. Has he gone all zombie again? There's a sentence you don't expect to say, unless you're playing a Hildebrand questline. Has he gone zombie again? Did I see anyone get carried out of that house, you ask? I was too distracted with stop taking to make note of any comings or goings. Sorry, I couldn't be of help. I didn't see anyone carry a person out of that house, no. But I did see a man carrying a particularly large sack. So heavy he strained to lift it. I didn't think much of it at the time, but now you mention it, it was a bit suspicious. A dubious individual? Nice goggles. Ah, there you are. This man says he's vital information that will help us in our investigation. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Delian, editor-in-chief of the Thavnerian Truth, a monthly publication devoted to exploring unexplained and otherworldly phenomena of our isle. Your companion shared with me the news of your friend's disappearance. I happen to know precisely who's behind the incidents, but I fear you will not like the answer, for the kidnapper is not of this star. It's not a Loperit, is it? No, a Loperit wouldn't be able to carry a sack. It's not Uri Angers, is it? Or Godbert. They come from the heavens. From beyond the great expanse, they descend in curious saucer-shaped airships to study our world, our society, our buildings, our very bodies. Oh, maybe it is the Lopperitz. You shudder, no doubt, as you realise of whom I speak. It couldn't be, you protest. Oh, but it could, and it is. Your dear friend, the Inspector, has been abducted by aliens. Oh, but it'll be fine, you assure yourself. After all, they just want to understand us better. You poor, deluded child. That they do! But to what end? Why else? That they might one day take over our world! What is worse? They plot to do so with the aid of collaborators! For the Charlians are in league with our would-be overlords, providing the aliens with vital information on our vulnerabilities in exchange for a position of power within their regime. The final days was also the work of these alien invaders, an attempt to sow chaos that our world would be so easier to conquer. Blessedly, it was thwarted, if only by dumb luck, as those that did the thwarting were blissfully unaware of the true nature of the threat. This man is a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> yes, we are blissfully unaware. 
I had hoped the setback would discourage the aliens from coming back, if not move them to abandon their ambitions. It would seem events have only emboldened them, if they are indeed carrying out abductions here in Vazatan. Even as we speak, your friend lays prone on a sterile bed in their base on the surface of the moon, where they poke and probe him with inscrutable instruments as their floppy ears wiggle with fiendish delight. Ah, but I have said too much. I must continue my investigation in secret. The fate of our world is at stake. Oh no, that sounded awful. We have to go to the moon and save the inspector at once. I think he was a few materials short of a full meld. That's an amazing line. And I shall be using it from now on, if I remember it. Huh. So you don't think the inspector's some are getting probed by aliens? But if not them, then who's probing him? Well. A man carrying a suspiciously large sack? That sounds promising. Maybe someone else can tell us more. Maybe. Hmm, he has gone. Uh, oh. Speak with that. Oh, she's there. And have her accompany you. Someone up ahead may have seen something. Let's ask around. Nashu is now accompanying you. Oh, good. We have this new mechanic and we shall use it. I say new. We're in 6.25. It's not new anymore. We will, however, make use of the law opportunities. Discuss the Akasadoa. Fry and his family are the nicest people. They've got such gentle eyes and long snouts too, longer than anyone I've ever met in Eorzea. <laughs> Thanks, Nashu. <laughs> I'm so glad I stopped for that. Dimitri. The man with the sack. Indeed. I couldn't help but take note of him as he passed, trying so very hard to be inconspicuous as he was. He ascended to Alzadal's path, then went over to the fountain where he met with a merchant, I believe. Such a hefty sack it was. My mind was racing with the possibilities of what it might contain. That has to be our man, right? We need to hunt down that merchant. I see you there. Oh. Does that make anyone else's stomach lurch when we do that? Some, I, I think I'm sure I've said this in videos before. Something about the physics of the gravity when you jump from heights and fall in this literally makes my stomach lurch. And I don't know why. Also, why is this one square? It's incredible, isn't it? It reminds me of the giant statue of Lord Godbert at the Gold Saucer. Once the inspector's back on his feet, we'll have to show him. Hello there. Man with a large sack. Ah, you better saw him. In fact, I sold him my chocobo. At first, I told him to get lost. That bird and I go way back and so forth. But he was in a hurry, and his offer was very generous. When you're in li my line of work, you can't afford to get too sentimental. And now I can buy all stables worth of chocobos. Did he say where he's planning to go next? It was much. Is that him? No, that is not our mysterious stalker. He was moaning something about having to get to Saltwind's welcome in a hurry. Probably why he was so desperate for a chocobo. It's a long way to go on foot, never mind the sack. Did you hear that, Demogen? Need to head to Saltwind's welcome right away. Do you know where that is, Nashu? Here we are. Which means the mysterious man with the mysterious sack must be near. Keep your eyes peeled. I'd just like to stop talking about this man's sack, please. <laughs> is it Uyongje? Over there! That man's definitely up to no good. That's a sack. And that is a man. Maybe he's waiting for a co-conspirator? You should stay out of sight and watch what happens. Hmm. Not Loperitz. <laughs> Nashua is completely incapable of staying awake. Oh, 
you. Ah, Mr. Chupacabra. But he expressly told us he'd put the evil schemes behind him. He wouldn't lie, would he? The goods appear to be none the worse for wear. Very well. No payment is promised. What are you planning on doing with him? My client will be most pleased. What? <laughs> I know. Is he going to feed the inspectors that giant sea monster? It is an honour and a pleasure as always, Dr. Lugay. I'm afraid this specimen will meet with your satisfaction. What is going on? So, this is the one to, said to be the strongest, most resilient in all the world. The Mandeville Man. None other. He has weathered countless explosions and a multitude of martial abuses, including a devastating suplex I myself did witness. It is even said he survived a journey to Dalamud itself and survived the Lesser Moon's fall with nearly a scratch. Most fortunately for us, he has fallen into a coma from which I am assured he will never awake. You are free to do with his body as you please. Wee -hee -hee. Even the mightiest of warriors can't fight while asleep. Those meddlers may have gotten the better of me and my beautiful boy in the Tower of Babel, but my next child will be all but invincible. With this body, my to command, I will exact a bloody glorious revenge. I'm trying to remember who this guy is. He's a mad scientist type, clearly. Um, forgive my boldness, Dr. Lugo, but when might I expect the rest of my payment? I have debts that must be repaid. Worry not. With the Talfoy gone for good, the vast fortune of House Brutus is entirely at my disposal. I shall shower you with wealth, my loyal minion. Minion. And gladly shall I accept the spoils, Doctor, and resolve never to renounce my wicked ways, for surely this time I will suffer no comeuppance. And that is our cue. <laughs> no, not you, not now. Bah, I must away. <laughs> He's got smoke jets. Come back here. Will that have been close enough for uh, Hildebrand's soul to transfer? One wonders. W wait, Dr. Luge, my payments. Oi. Wake up, Inspector! Ah! I saw you! Hiding. I keep pointing at the screen. I don't know why. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. It's gonna hit him in the face. Or the nuts. <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Could, could it be the world's no longer purple? <laughs> Stop moving, damn you! You're supposed to be the character sent to be of my glorious revenge! Oh, th is this how he's going to the moon? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> I 
That's really nice smoke. That's really nice smoke. That's really nice smoke. That's not a normal FF14 asset, surely. <laughs> not again! <laughs> oh <laughs> oh dear lord This is a fine idea, Hildebrand. <laughs> no! Okay, then. He's alive! I say, that was a rather dramatic series of events to wake into. But more importantly, after a brief detour, I find myself in my own world once more. My most sincere apologies for causing you such trouble, my loyal assistants. But rejoice! For Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has made his triumphant return. Oh no! But wait! <laughs> uh, what was that? That, that was the stalker! What? Why are the... No. <laughs> Abducted? By whom? Well, wait, Inspector? I knew it! An alien abduction! And to think I'd have the chance to witness one with my own eyes. This month's issue of the Stavnerian truth shall be the best one yet. Just when I thought we'd finally have the inspector back, off he went. And then came back, and then floated off again. I've no idea what I'm saying there. Well, Nashu, I know it's not the first time he's taken to the skies without warning, but still, it's always a little disappointing. Still, no use crying over flying inspectors. Let's return to Razahan. Yes, let's. Oh, Inspector, why have you left me again? Where have you gone? Oh, this won't do. Get it together, Nashu. There's a case to be solved. Just you wait, Inspector. Your loyal assistant, Nashu, will solve the mystery of disappearance. Again! And don't you worry, Demogen. As soon as I have a new lead, you'll be the first to know. Until next time. Ah.
And? Meanwhile, in my Lamentorum. Has he been inducted by Loperitz? Is that a Loperitz ship? <laughs> <laughs> or did they have enough of him and they've just spat him out? From... Oh god. What is this? There's lyrics! See you, Inspector. Yeah, it was the stalker. Um, yeah, isn't that blank from the the DS version of FF4? The summon that you could use. Hold on, there's another quest here. Luna Conspiracy. Yes, so these two quests are, in fact, in 6.25. Unless... The ones that I've just done were from previous. Oh, apparently they'd put two in in 6.15. And I didn't know. Or maybe I did know and I just hadn't done them. Oh, so we're not, so this has not been fresh content. This has been me still catching up. So this is not unlocking the uh, the Mandeville stuff because I've still got two more quests to do. Oh well. Next. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.